Okay. We're going to cleave anyway. Another priest is not a bad follow-up. We draw the land here, so let's go ahead. Or on this. Swing eight. How's it going, y'all? Tots Fan920, today we're back out with some more MTGA standard action. This time we're going back to our baby, Gruel Monsters. Um, not gonna lie, I've not been having a lot of success lately. I've been on a pretty rough losing skid here. I've been trying a bunch of different decks, and it kind of seems like no matter what I try, it doesn't work. Um, I'm not even gonna get into all the decks I've been trying, but basically, whatever I play, it either doesn't work, I'm playing my worst matchup, or it just, just the beats, man, it happens. But, figure for now, since we're at the bottom anyway, I'm gonna try out a new Gruel list here. Uh... Twitter user Lanyer, if you haven't watched him, I'll put a link in the description below. He had a Gruel Amori list here, which actually you can see I still have that card in my picture here. Um, had a list here that I was trying. It was actually pretty cool. It used God Eternal Ronus as well as uh, End Race Forerunners at the top end, and it's had a lot of different ways to ramp between the Moral Grazer and Marauding Raptor, then more to make things cheaper. Um, but I kind of ended up going off of that a little bit just because I never had the mana to get to that seven mana that you needed for it or make it cost, you know, appropriate. And I just miss having Embercleave in the deck. Like, no matter what, I feel like Embercleave is kind of just a must-have card. But I still learned a lot of cool things from that. And one thing was that God Eternal Aronis is actually pretty sweet. Um, five mana, or five mana, five, five death touch that doubles the power of all the creatures on the battlefield. And in, in a lot of rule lists, it doesn't really matter that much because you're playing two power, three power creatures, whatever. So if you make them go from two to four, it's not a big deal. But in these ones, you're playing five power here, four power here, four power here, or more if it's on a serpent. Uh, you're talking a lot of times double digit power on some of these things here that you use your owners for. So it's kind of like copies three and four Embercle, but it's a creature with a five five body. And it's one you can get back if there's you know any kind of removal for it. So it's pretty sweet. So I've been trying this list out and so far early, early on I'm having some success with it. So hopefully it doesn't suck during this recording. But I've been liking this one a lot. So we're running 20 how many lines we got here? So I can whine about it later on a miss. So we got 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 lands, which for a Moyle Grazer, you know, is still kind of light, but I don't think I'm gonna go too too heavy on this either, because you're still your curve's relatively low-ish, especially considering this can be a three mana card. Sideboard wide here, two Graft Digger's Cage, all the Winota decks, all the things you're playing stuff out the bit the graveyard. Two Destiny Spinner against Control or uh Cement Clash, all these kind of flash decks. One Cinder Vines, three Bone Crusher Giant. And that's one thing. Bone Crusher Giant's been in the main deck of my card cool list pretty much forever, but it's just not been super relevant in the meta now. So I've taken that out and moved it to the side. Two Flame Sweep, two Cloithus, one Voracious Hydra, and it's a kind of spicy one here if you forgot about Null Hide Ferrix. Um, a lot of times this can come down on turn three and you kind of just want to have a 6-6 six, six Hexproof beater. Um, this kind of puts the brakes on against a lot of aggro decks that can't really attack through this. And people have single target or removal they want to use on this, they got to pay the two mana to give it a not Hexproof. So pretty sweet there. But let's take this in a rank. Let's see how it goes. Let's go. All right, first game of the day here is against Alejo. We're still in Diamond 4 now. Like I said, the losing streak's been pretty rough. We'll be on the draw, which doesn't really help things. But let's see how this goes. So the opener here is one land. No companion on their side. We got a mulligan this. Yeah, this is much, much better. In the dark here, what do we want to take? I think we ditch the... Uh, I guess we ditch the Hydra for now. The Whip Fighting can be pretty relevant too. Let's actually ditch the Jam Razor. Let's go with this. If they don't have a companion, there's a decent chance that they're a creature based mashup, and if so, then, we'll ha then this can be pretty good against them. So, let's go ahead and drop this. They got Gruel Colors over there for now. This could be Teamer, um, Teamer Reclamation. That's a pretty common one, doesn't have companions usually. Or it could just be straight Gruel Smash. Okay, baby, I like it. Okay, they played as a 3 3, which is smart. So, I could play this and play a Grazer. Or I could just play a Spellbreaker. That's iffy. But I think I play the Spellbreaker for now. Turn 2 Spellbreaker on the draw. Not bad. Not JPEG. Opponent follows up with a Spellbreaker on their own. So, mirror match here. We'll see how this goes. Temple of Abandon. Quest and Beast is nice. We'll keep that. Here, I think we just... We want to get in first. I mean, we're following this up with a Quest and Beast next turn. So, unless they have a Quest and Beast of their own, I think we take this. 
It's a ballsy block because if I had an answer here, this would actually be a pretty bad block on their end. But I think for now we just play that and then play this. Pass the turn. Now if I have a question beast, obviously we can't block that, but it is what it is. Galia. No lands for him either. They can attack with the uh, Zerta. They're deciding on what to attack with right now. Interesting. So here I can do this for three. Have it fight the Zerta. And get to attacking. Or I just double it. I think for now I just like making this big. So X, X, one, two, three. Bit it because it costs less than the Raptor. So let's do this. Yeah, I don't want this just a straight up trade. So let's actually just double the number of counters on it. Six, seven against Gruul. Going to be pretty good unless they have like main deck clean the firstborn here. If they miss land here, swinging with this and Questing Beast next turn is a lot of damage. You love to see it. Don't think I swing here though because I don't want this to block and get eight. So we'll just swing with this Voracious Hydra for now. What am I missing here? Old school. But we still... I like that trade, alright. That's fine. It's going to play our land here, pass the turn. They're playing like an old school version of Gruul here. Western Beast their own. No attacks from them. Stone Cool, not a bad drone. Let's go ahead and offer the trade here. Let me play this for five. Oh no, I could have played it for six. Whoops. Whoops, myself there. That ain't good. Still playing big though. Hoping to run into an Embercleave here at some point now. 5-5 five, five is still better than Spellbreaker. Though, man, this being a 6-6 six, six would have been huge. So if I attack here now, that's not super great. So I think I just play this Temple. And then land. No attacks for now. Well, actually, this has protection, so I guess I could have just done the thing. If I attack with all these, I just block the Spellbreaker and feel good about it. Because it has protection from multicolored anyways. Which is pretty relevant here. And I'm going to force them to have it. Let's go ahead and do this. Do this. Actually, I think blocking that's a little bit better. That ain't too good for you, friend. Oof. Yeah, that was not a good turn for them. Fortunately, we keep just drawing lands here. So it's not super great turns for us either. I think I swing here. Protection there. Play another temple. Their tops is a good one. Any kind of haste threat, we're probably going to keep on top, you know. Still don't like myself missing this damage here. I'm going to do this. They want to... I think I even just give up a goblin here. If they have Ember Cleave, yeah, go for it. So that's 3, 6, 9 damage. We're swinging 10 here. I think I like erasing at this point. I wish I could give this Vigilance. Let's go ahead, swing 10. Gee, it should be 11 if I wasn't a dummy. So this Grazer back to block. Galia. Yep. So three, six, seven, eight. Um, I mean, I think I still block this robber here just because any kind of collision cost they have on that, just to try to save what damage we can. If they don't have a follow up here, two creatures, they're pretty much just dead. Yeah. Good game one there, beating the gruel mirror. Old school gruel over there. So let's take a look at their list here. They probably take out the Golly as they should. It's not very good in this matchup. As far as what we put in here, Barracks would be pretty good against them. 
Hydra on the draw is probably a bit slower than we'd love. Gym are gonna be fine, just a big beefy body. I like Thrash and Threat here. Ember Cleave's still good. Rona's still good. I mean, a lot of these, I feel like we got a decent deck against what they're trying to do. Do I just take out the Hydras? I'm assuming they could try to go bigger here. I think I just say screw it on the two Grazers and if we're a little bit slower, then we're a little bit slow. Our Gruel Brother. We won that one on the draw, so let's see if we can do it again. Again, we get one land in our 26 land deck. Let's mulligan again. Magic's a great game, you know. So now we have four of them here. So we'll ditch a forest. And Thrash Threat's pretty good. But I think we gotta get. I'd rather have the Questing Beast for now. Well, this sucks. Probably gonna need to play a non game of magic here, but we'll see how it goes. Another land. Okay, Marauding Raptor. That's a start. Play that for two here. Zerta being a 3 3, probably. Again, I know I've whined about this, not whined about this plenty of time, but just kind of preach. But if you're playing Gruul, never riot out your creatures. Always make them the counter, unless it's like you're going for lethal, basically. Legion. Okay. Well, I thought they'd go smaller, but that wasn't the case. Do we just go Questing Beast here? I think we do. And I'm going to keep my Raptor back because I want to have it be able to block. The way I have this to block, too. So let's actually do this. Let's just swing six, try to race them here a little bit. In the turn here. Shotgun ends. I mean, they got a question beast of their own. Robber. Okay. It smells like a collision the Colossus to me. Yep. Could be Ember Cleave also. If we don't block here and it's Ember Cleave, they can. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, take us to 1, which probably we can't have that. So I think we, no matter what, get rid of the war boss here. That's just too much trouble. So let's get Ember Cleave for uh, Collision Colossus, either 1. When I, when I said I was going to race, I wasn't planning on them to drop that and still have this held up, so that's pretty good by them. And at least we know now they're not really sideboarding how I thought they would. So maybe we bring some flame sweep in. Colossus. Pretty good. Unfortunately, we can't do this. So I think we just play this for five. Hold back. We can still get this two damage in there. We do have this to block there and this to block there. They could obviously just have that. We're just dead now. And they take our Ferrex. So if I block this, block this, we go to a, we go to one. If I block this and this, we take four, five, six. So yeah, I've got to block the questing beast. Yikes. Any way I can get out of this? Gem Razor is a card. So with this, they can't really attack yet. But we don't want to mutate. We just want to play that out regla. We have so many ways we can die here. I meant to play my stomping ground tap there. I clicked the wrong thing. Any haste creature kills us. Any kind of... Yep. GG's opponent. Play versus draw there for sure. They also not boarded how I kind of wasn't expecting. So on the play... Hmm... So I could take out two gem razors and put in two flame sweep. Then kind of leave it as is, and I think that's gonna be okay. These voracious hydra may not be that bad after all. This is what they're gonna do. So hmm. 
Like Bone Crusher could be okay too. But I still think Thresh Threat with us being on the play is the way we want to go. I think I'll maybe take out one more Gem Razor and add another Hydras for that fight ability. Let's go with this. So game three against Alejo. Gruel, Mirror. Let's show him how Gruel's really done. And not Mulligan to five, possibly. Actually, that's kind of a crappy hand, too. Um, what is with... It? We got a Mulligan there. Okay, this is, this is okay. We don't love it, but it'll do. I think about addition Ember Cleave for now, since we just have one creature in this whole hand, essentially. So let's go ahead and Temple. Guess... I don't know. Do we really want this? It's our second green source. I guess we got to keep it. Help Collector. Old school gruel, just like I was saying. Well, luckily, we can kill this next turn. No matter what they do. I don't know. I mean, they could have Clinton's Colossus here. Also. If you want to hit me for one, you hit me for one, bud. Wow. Well, at this point, we just play this tapped and hold up Thrash Threat. We'll pass turn. Um... Should we just kill that now before it starts growing then? I would like to draw something else besides, I don't mean, obviously playing a 5-5 death touch on turn 4 on the play is pretty good. Okay. To be honest, I should have seen that one coming. So I think here, I'm cool playing the Gem Razor by itself first. So let's go to tax here. I really want to get the, the most out of this. Got Eternal Ronus that I can. Now that gets pain past the turn. If they miss a land here again, they're just mega dead. We didn't even get the Ronus there because they got mana screwed. That's why you got a Mulligan sometimes. So we get the Diamond 3 now. Um, so that's actually three wins in a row with this deck, by the way. Um, the first two I played on not on recording. But, uh, cool. So we're back at Diamond 3 now, where I feel like I've been the last million videos I've made. Let's go ahead and play another. Alright, game number two here against a Vampile. It's like a vampire with a lisp. Hey, <laughs> hey. Oh, bosh. Be curious to see how this matchup is, depending on what kind it is. This opener is fine. We play turn two, Stone Cold Serpent. Turn three. It'd be really nice to, like, Gem Razor a, a uh, Heraldic Banner if they had one. Let's go ahead and start off the temple here. I think the land's fine. Just guarantee that we get this questing beast down. It's probably where we want to be right now. Because questing beast, gem razor, ember cleave, all that kind of stuff is pretty good. So here we'll play a stone cool for... I didn't have that selected, right? I don't know if y'all saw that, but... Take two unnecessary damage. If I lose by two, I'll be pretty mad. Let's hope this doesn't get shocked. I guess I should have said Bone Crusher also. That's fine. Everything's fine. Good thing we took more unnecessary damage here. Surely you're going to play Annex. Okay. So here, I think we Questing Beast. Well, at least this next turn, if they don't have an answer for it, we can Ember Cleave them. Bone Crusher's fine. Probably no attacks here. They can pay the one mana for this and get him for one. Nice. Uh, no blocks on this Annex for now. I'll wait till I can Ember Cleave. Just drawing lands. Hopefully they block here. Pound it. Pound hello. I think they're doing Ember Cleave math now. Okay. We're going to Cleave anyway. This has first strike, so even if this gets really big, we're still going to just kill it. Sorry, double strike. 
So we'll do... Oh, we're still dead. Yikes. I leave but you'll be pretty mad. Yikes. We'll let him have it. Unfortunate. Oh, I guess maybe I could... No, I could have could got there. I'm um, against them. Flame sweep can come in. Boy, is flame sweep even great? I mean, it misses a lot of things, so maybe flame sweep's not even that great. Let's take that out for now. Uh, Hydra will be good. Ferrix will be good. Koithus can be good, but I think it's a little bit murky. Like, even this Aboreal Grace is pretty good here. They don't really play a lot of... I mean, I know they play the banner. Let's go to two of those. I still want to have it. And then maybe cut down like a Ceratops. Because we're not going to be hasting stuff out a lot. I still want to have like some of these to be able to take care of that banner. Then... I could replace the Thresh Threats with Bone Crushers, which I think is a little bit better. Let's go with this and see how it goes. Alright, game number two against Vampire. See how it goes. I guess we were on the play there, so that stinks. This hand's fantastic. We can draw some lands, especially. Woo, baby, woo. Turn one Grazer, turn two Spellbreaker. If we can just go Grazer, Spellbreaker, Ceratops, Ronus, that's uh, disgusting. Uh, they're mulligan their butt off, by the way. I'll take a free win. I'm not above it. They mold a four. So let's just have a fan dilly daistic start here. You know what sucks too? How I was saying that I took that two unnecessary damage. Um, that came back to bite us, huh? So land here. Let's go ahead and play Spellbreaker for now. Put a 1 1 counter on it. Pass the turn. Hopefully draw a land here, a green source particular. Okay, didn't matter. That's good. They didn't need to see this. Huh. So I own the draw. I think I like these flame sweeps on the draw a little bit now. Um we take out here though. Gem Razor's still better on the draw than is the play because they're turn three gem razors when we can get this turn three down usually. I think I just take out two grazers. Actually. Maybe this is a matchup where Stone Cool is kind of awkward. Let's go down to two of those and then leave it here. See how it goes. It's game three against Vampile. See if we can get them. If they can just mold a four again, that'd be pretty sweet. This hand's pretty good. This is a nice stompy hand. They're about to do some Scorch spitting on us. Assuming they're about to light that stage up. Found a land. What's the follow up? Okay, pretty fantastic start for them there, not going to lie. Um, let's drop our wrapper here. Next turn, I think we just play the Ceratops. We'll see. Don't really care. What do they have here? Oh, they have the Bone Crusher. Let's let's not be stupid. Let's just take two. Just ignore the fact that I almost played right into that, okay? Q. The missing land is pretty sweet. So I think we just go Ceratop here. And... With them missing a land, I think it's important for us to start swinging. Because of the Ember Cleave, we can race. We have seven power on board, they have two. Yeah, so I would have hated to just sit back and waste that. You can red cap melee this if you want to. Ram initiate. Well, let's just play this questing beast and attack for now, and then we'll Ember Cleave next turn. Getting down to 12. 
Looks like they kept a greedy one. I mean, it doesn't feel great because we're getting mana screwed here, but still, I mean, the, the hand we had compared to what they had, we had this in the back, and I think we've actually got a good matchup against them, so technically 4-0, but 2-0 here now with this list. Let's go ahead and play one more game and see how it goes. All right, last game of the day here is against DK Geo. Let's see if we can go 3-0 with this thing. We'll take the play. They're playing some Lurus. Um, so this is like scary against Lurus because Voracious Hydra can be a house, but it can also get stolen and sacked. So even though most times I would want to just make this a really big creature here against them with their claim to Firstborns, we cannot let them really do that. Now, on this turn, I guess we can because we're threatening just massive amounts of damage right now. So I guess for now we just play this. I mean, it's still not super big anyway. Make it a 2-4. We'll pass the turn here. So we can go Questing Beast into Ronus. That ain't bad. Priest here ain't too scary. So I did this. It's still not enough. I think we just Questing Beast. Swing 6. Let's hope we can just slam down this Ronus next turn. We have the green for it. If not, we play the Raptor and the still okay. They shock in the 12 here. As I was saying, let's follow up, friend. Croxa. They put their stop on and sack it here. Thank you, Aboreal Grazer, for being here, at least. Yep, good play by them. Grazer's getting the boof. And we got a discarded card. I guess it's the Raptor, and we'll hope to draw the land. Another Priest is not a bad follow-up. We draw the land here, so let's go ahead. Ronus. Swing 8. Pass the turn here. See if they can get out of this. We're gonna hope not. Ronus getting down, doing the thing. So against them, Flame Sweep comes in for sure. We'll take in some Cloythus. Grafter Cage is fine. Uh, Ferris can be good here, but it's also a little bit slow. We take out the Hydras here. The fighting is nice, but them taking it and sagging is not nice. Then we want Bone Crusher. So we gotta take some things out. Thrash threat's a little slow. Um, Stone Cold's real bad here because it gets taken too easily. And I think we'll cut down one gem razor just because of how we don't have a ton of things mutated on there. Do I care about the spellbreaker that much? Because it's still a four-four they can just take, and that's like an issue. But it has trample too. I think I like where this is at. Let's go with this and see how it works out for us. It's game number two against Lurus Rakdos. Pretty bad matchup for Gruel decks usually, so we got the first game. Let's see if we can do this again. This opener... I think on the draw I keep this. We have this temple to lead off on. They're mulliganing. We have some strong things in hand and a lot of things they can't really interact with too much, so... I think we use this temple and hope to find either land or, sorry, land or a raptor. So they get a six. Shock in. Sorry to scorpion time. Maybe a kitty cat. So play a temple. It's land four. I think we got to keep it. Slow start for us. We'll, this may be too slow for this deck, honestly, but we'll see how it goes. Footlight Fiend, which is oven. Let's just keep doing nothing for now. See how long it takes them to do their cat stuff. Well, the good news is they're already down to two cards. Would have been really nice to even have a grazer here because we could have next turn uh, mutate and kill that oven. But the good news is they're not putting a ton of 
pressure on us right now. Can we just hit a flame sweep off the top? It's not a flame sweep, friend. That is quite the opposite of a flame sweep. We'll play the Spellbreaker down. Like, no matter what, they're just going to claim it and swing on us and then kill it, and we probably just lose, but we got to... We gotta see what they do to us. Like I said, it's a bad matchup, but they've only got two cards in hand. See if they got that claim. If they got the claim, I'm sure they just snap it off. Land two more cards. Friend, if you got claim, you just use it, so. Act of Treason. Okay. A more expensive version of claim. Well, this ain't gonna be good. When they get two food from it this time. Okay, we, we've drawn literally nothing but lands since here also. So I think for now, golly. I mean, we still got to provide some kind of clock, so I'm still going to play this Questing Beast for now. If they have another claim or act of trees, we're just dead anyways. We got them down to 20. When they've got the nuts, they got the nuts, right? Must be nice to be that lucky. So, we're on the draw now. Or we're on the play now, sorry. Uh, it would be nice to see you, bud. Do I even want? I think I'm gonna go up a gem razor and cut down a graph digger's cage. I think maybe we cut down two of these and put in two ferrets. Because if they want to pay five mana act of treason, that's a lot better. So game three against Racto Sacrifice. Again, bad matchup. See how it goes. Take the play. Opener. It's a fine opener. I'd love to draw just a few more critters in between here, but for starts, that's not too shabby. So you swamp to familiar. Well, I guess it's just Grazer City here. No attacks. We have four mana on turn two. I mean, that's neat, right? This is just priest fodder at this point. <laughs> Game. I, I appreciate you giving me three graders of my first nine cards, but I'd rather not. We'll swing here for now. Give down to 17. Next turn we can Ember Cleave. It may require swinging with the grazer, but we'll do it. Buddy, you do the cat thing like you do every other game. You don't just want to go on for it. Man. What mind seeing a Graph Digger's Cage here? So at this point in the game, as long as we don't get Act of Treasoned, we'll be in a decent spot. Um, okay, now what? Just pass the turn. Don't do anything. Assuming if they had to act, they, they would have act, they would have used it. Don't look at my question, Beast. Get out of here. Great Scorpion. Another question, Beast. So we got to attack with one Grazer. Go ahead. Do this. They have Noxious Grass. That, that would suck a lot.
I like they're still walking, you know, just in case. So I get, I mean, if this is their plan, oh, okay, just getting some life. If this is their plan, they're just trying to next turn play Lurus and then play the Serrated Scorpion. I'm cool with that. So do I block the cat here and kill it? No, I don't want to give him food. I'm gonna make you work for your food. Just like my daddy used to. Get it, because my dad made me work my food, that was a joke. But it's not a joke, he really did. Come on. Come on, go. So I can tan this next turn. I would take any haster off the top. There's a land. Lure us and then play Serrated Scorpion. Alright. That's a good draw. So let's go ahead. Do I just do this now? Hmm. The four blocks. This can do... Yeah, I think I'm cool with this. Let's see what they sack. Being probably the right call there. Get all that out of here. They can kill a grazer now. Oh no. So we'll get them down to five here. And we'll follow up by playing this other grazer that the game has so graciously gifted us. So they've got to find some steel effect for this questing beast or they're dead. And I hope they don't. I would really rather them not. Because like I said, it's a bad matchup for us here, for sure. If they go call the Death Dweller here, we still have Double Strike. Swing in 10, so let's see how it goes here. I would be okay with seeing Call of Death Roller just because that means we're probably good to go. Cool. Nice. It's a, it's a weird assortment of cards to draw there, bud. So you're still super dead to this? GG's. Let's go ahead. Swing 10. Are you forgetting that? Oh. Oops. Okay, I was a little cocky there, not gonna lie. So that was actually pretty good. Now let's hope they don't have a steel effect. Says Menace. That was, that was smart of them. I, I, I definitely didn't play around that. So walk like this. Just keep on saving all the damage we can. The hunt to kill them moves on. I would actually like a land here so I can do three mana to equip that and then two to stomp. After this pretty hot start, we've not really been seeing much mana, which has been unfortunate. We 
dancing this dance though. I can go up to nine here, and then ten, eleven with that. Gym Razor's not bad either. I think I just like swinging eight here. This way we can at least get rid of that oven kind of once and for all. It also has trample, which is nice. So let's get rid of that. Let's do art for Gem Razor. You know, the alternate art is pretty sweet. Go ahead, do the thing, bud. It's like mega obvious what you're going to do, so just do it. Okay, or concede. That's right. Gem Razor getting it done. So 3 0 gruel, 5 0 total with this list, though. So we're on a. Uh, I've wind all day on Facebook. It's Sunday, by the way. So not Facebook, but Twitter. Wind about my losing streak, and have, here we go. Winning five in a row. Let's take a look at deck list one more time. So once again, gruel monsters here. Uh, total 5 0 with this list so far. I'm liking that a whole bunch. Uh, we got the MC, MCQ coming up this Saturday, so I'm trying to find a list to play. So right now, I'm liking this one a lot. Um,. I really want, I mean, I want to play Flash, but Flash is just so dead to Obosh and aggro strategies where this kind of has game links a little bit of everything. Um, still definitely not favored in Yorion matchups, I'm sure, but um, I did beat two of them today, so it's saying something. Uh, but overall, I'm liking the look of this list. Uh, the 26 lands seem to be like a decent spot. We never really flooded out too bad or anything, and there were a couple times where we were a little bit short on mana around turn four or five, but overall it seemed okay. Um, so I like the grazes there even, because again, against aggro, it's just an O3 wall. Against Sack, it's a Sack fodder. It's not the worst. Excuse me. Uh, but Gem Razor, I think, is a really good gift for these kind of decks, especially when you're playing your Grazers and Stone Cold Serpents, being able to mutate it on three and take care of stuff like that. Um, and again, I think Ember Cleave is just a must have in a lot of these kind of decks. Um, so, yeah, that's the deck. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.